on the 28th of April 2012, that's the night it burnt down, I was at a physics end of year ball that I'd organised. So I was having like one of the best nights of my life. And then I found out in the morning that it burnt down and I had like the worst day of my uni life so far. I think off the, uh, off the back of uh, the, the Sochi 2014 uh, Winter Olympics uh, that were incredibly successful, um, it, it really has spurred everybody on to, uh, to recreate uh, the, the ski village. A lot of the Olympians who really did achieve great things in Sochi trained at this facility in the early stages of their careers. There's the Machen brothers, uh, there's the likes of Katie Summerhays and James Woods, Dom Harrington, one of the halfpipe snowboarders. Obviously, as the site is at the moment, there are going to be no future Olympians produced within Sheffield, certainly with regards to skiing and snowboarding. We find this incredibly sad as the, the facility really did open the sport up to hundreds and thousands of people and made, made winter sports incredibly accessible to the masses, really. But it was much more than just Olympians actually, it was a, a real community spirit up here. You come up on a Tuesday or a Sunday and you see the same people. I've lost count of the amount of people that have actually met their future wives here and the amount of kids that have been born out of the ski village. So we want to bring it back for the Olympians we want to bring it back for the people of Sheffield as well. With Snow Sports for Sheffield kind of came about from all the, the great will and the tremendous effort that was conducted by our athletes at the Soshi Games. Uh, everybody kind of was, was talking on Facebook about it and it was Al Bista who actually started a private group. Uh, it caused such an upwell of positive well wishes and good feeling towards the project. We're all working professionals, uh, lawyers, accountants, teachers, architects, and we've all come together with one express aim to try and rebuild the Sheffield Ski Village. It had everything. It's even got half pipe, so it was one of the it was probably the best freestyle slope in the country. And now we don't have one quite as good at all. The only half pipe we've got now has just been built in Scotland. But this is like one of the few dry slope half pipes in the world. Yeah, I think uh, within Sheffield there, there are a lot of um, smaller sporting communities, be it the climbing community, the mountain bike community, slackliners. We would really like to, to hear from all these groups to, to have an input into this site and uh, kind of what we want to achieve in the future. We're currently working on um, a crowdfunding page uh, to, to begin raising the funds. Um, it is going to take an awful lot of money and an awful lot of backing um, and private investment uh, to get this site um, to, to a state that it can be used as a winter sports hub and a world-class facility for not only winter sports but uh, adrenaline sports and extreme sports within Sheffield. This is a really good slope to learn freestyle on because you can go quite slow over the jump or you can go straight from the top and go really fast and learn flips and anything on the jump if you want and you can also do jumps off the run into it and you can there's a quarter pipe and you can do like cliff drops off here if there is anybody out there that, that's seeing this um, and does want to get involved please do have a look at our website and uh, yeah, don't hesitate to get in, in touch. Uh, this is a fantastic project um, with a lot of passionate people who can, can really make this happen. I think in, in conjunction with the Sheffield City Council and varying professionals throughout Sheffield um, this is going to be something big. I came up to Sheffield in 1998. It wasn't because I was studying law at Sheffield University, it was, was because I could snowboard at the Sheffield Ski Village. I started off on Peace Patrol, worked in the boot room uh, before moving up to the bar and then I eventually became an instructor. I don't think anybody can come up here and not be touched by the scenes of devastation. I'm 30 years old, I've lived in Sheffield all my life um, and the ski village has played uh, an enormous part in, uh, in my life and my love for snow sports. When I was at school I got involved with the school skiing group and 
came up to the ski village to have lessons. Uh, that eventually led on to um, getting a part-time job uh, working in the boot room, fitting skis and boots for people, and also kind of led to me becoming a snowboard instructor. incredibly lucky to be working with this Sheffield City Council and our ideas mirror perfectly with their idea of bringing a country park into the city uh, centre and their audacious plans to create a, an adrenaline quarter which would comprise of winter sports, mountain bike trails, everything like that. We have been speaking with the, uh, the current leaseholder of the site um, and we are currently in talks with him to, to acquire the lease um, and we've also communicated with the council um, in regards to their input um, as they own the, the, the whole site. We're currently busy working with stakeholders, friends of Parkwood Springs, uh, Ride Sheffield and if we get to go ahead and we get the lease then we would actually incorporate uplifts for the mountain bike trails at the top of the slope thereby giving more people access to the same opportunities that we have. We certainly feel that Snow Sports for Sheffield that if we can um, incorporate as many of these groups as possible um, in, into this project it, it really will gather momentum uh, very, very quickly. Once where I saw destruction because of Snow Sports for Sheffield I can actually see a foundation of a beautiful new beginning and a centre of excellence that will inspire the next generation of Olympic hopefuls.